Yo. Hi everybody. Today we do an electric wrench test with a Hyundai Tucson. Yeah, the name is so long that uh, when you've seen the consumption test, you'll find the link at the end of the video and then the description below. I named it Robert. Uh, here you see the correct name. So Robert and I, we try to get as much distance out of the 13.8 kilowatt hours battery as possible. WLTP states 74 kilometers of electric range, but I'm not sure whether this is possible with this battery. The board computer gives an electric range of 55 kilometers, 34 miles. The 1.6 liter four cylinder engine produces 180 horsepower, which we won't use with this on this trip. The electric motor has 66.9 kilowatt. Weight is 1,841 kilograms, uh, just over 4,000 pounds. I will do this test in the area east of Innsbruck without motorway, as this one is uh, restricted to 100 kilometers, 62 miles anyway, and we have some 100 kilometer per hour sections outside the motorway anyway. Unfortunately, we have some rain, which will affect the range, but nevertheless, I still try to exceed the WLTB rated distance. Thank you. 
update. 18.5 kilometers covered, remaining distance 43 kilometers. So we are exceeding the cars prediction of 55 kilometers already by 7 kilometers. One thing to keep in mind with plug-in hybrids is that the electric motor is rather small, which means you not only have a limited amount of power to drive, but also to brake. So with even average braking, you already come to the limits of the regenerative capacity of the electric motor. Conclusion. To benefit most of the region, you have to brake gently and probably read the road ahead of you. Quick update. We covered 46 kilometers and only 50% state of charge used. But the remaining range is only 21 kilometers. That means either we can do another 46 kilometers or the little guy in there is not very good at maths. We have now covered almost 72 kilometers, heads off to the electric efficiency. State of charge is 22%, remaining distance is 2 kilometers. I'm not sure how low the state of charge will go before the petrol engine kicks in. It seems we will exceed the 74 kilometers WLTP range quite easily. Luckily, it has stopped raining, which of course helps us. AC is set to 19 degrees, 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Radio is on all the time, so I'm trying to do a real-world test. Electric range is now zero and we have almost 76 kilometers covered. Different to the Kona Electric, this car does not coast once you lift the foot off the accelerator. I would prefer if it does, because I think this allows a much more efficient way of driving. Now the Yes, now the petrol engine kicks in and we covered 76.6 kilometers. Well done, Robert. Robert and Daddy now go home for a short pit stop as Daddy gets hungry. We have 13% state of charge left, but zero remaining distance. So I assume this is the base state of charge which allows the car to use some electric energy even if there is no pure electric driving possible. So let's have a quick look at uh, our trip with Robert. Well, there's no electric consumption shown in the vehicle. But if we assume the 13.8 kilowatt hours are gross capacity of the battery and we used 87% of it, uh, that equals 12 kilowatt hours used energy. Uh, with 76.5 kilometers, this results in 15.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which isn't too bad, especially considering the rainy weather at the beginning. If you want to see more of Robert, you can see here the, the fuel economy test with the empty battery on the Eco Travel Loop. And if you generally like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon.